Good evening ladies and gentlemen, I am back and I'm here to bring you another game of Homeworld. I finally have my computer working, I finally have my internet connection working, I have everything I need in order to record this and upload it. So hopefully this time it'll actually work. This is about my tenth time I've attempted to record this and it fails each time but hopefully, fingers crossed, this is going to be the one that works. So yes, I am back and this is going to be a 1v1. This is going to be another one from the map, the second pack that Lamadea sent me. He is, he has confirmed that he is Doe on these maps and he is of course in this game as well. They all appear to be from, of Doe. So this is going to be, I have one more of his after this, which I'm going to do in a few more games time so it's not just so there's a bit of a break, we get to see some of the players, but I will get man to his last one eventually. In the meantime, we have quite an interesting game because it's on a map called HSC Arena, which is slightly different from usual and it's one we haven't seen before. The main difference is that there's no huge resource pocket in the centre of the map. So whilst everybody's slowly moving towards each other, the fighting isn't going to get started right away and it's not going to be over this part here. And you can see quite easily how the map's resources are laid out in a very, I suppose you call it a tight area. Fairly small, but there should still be enough resources for everybody to get some, some quite large ships out. And because the fighting isn't going to begin in the first five minutes of combat, we should see slightly different, well, slightly larger combat than we usually do, hopefully. So, let's say here is Doe, or Lamedus, Lamedeus, who we've seen in the past few games, playing quite well. And here is his opponent of, from the clan LS, Chain. Or at least I, let me just double check that, yes, Chain, and I believe that's from, means he's from the clan LS. Uh, unless his name is Chain LS, which is possible, but I am fairly certain there is a Clan LS out there. Anyway, we are of course just in the early part of the game where everybody's producing the same kinds of ships and whatnot, so we have sword frigates and support frigates out already, and lots of research ships. You can see Doe has gone up to five already, and so has his opponent. Also a fair few controllers out for chain. Here's one here and I believe there's another one down here. So he's hoping to get in on the harvesting quite quickly. He hasn't actually moved his mothership that far towards the centre, as we can just see as well. Uh, Doe is relying on the controller here to harvest. And I don't think he... does he have a second one? Yes, he does also have a second one. So already we're just seeing both players adapting slightly to this new... well, I'm not going to say new because it's a fairly old game, but to this slightly different style of map. We don't usually see two controllers coming out. And we're also seeing a fairly large amount of frigates for both players. Uh, we can see... Uh, let's see the repair corvette or... Yes, that's a repair Corvette. Now I've been... if you go through my comments, you will see that... Uh, unfortunately I can't quite remember the, the name at the moment, but it's been explained to me why repair Corvettes are sometimes used, and that's because they have rather a rather large amount of health for their cost, if I'm remembering the, the, um, the comments correctly. So, once they're in the big sort of strikecraft fight in, in the... Uh, well, once they're in a big strikecraft fight, they get targeted by enemy strikecraft at random, and they're just taking the shots that would, would have otherwise destroyed the light strikecraft. In theory, I think that's basically if I've understood it correctly. If not, then there'll be probably another comment, hopefully, because I'm really having to try to piece things together. But anyway, we've got a fight starting out at the moment. This is. Uh, Doe coming in with 40 scouts, I believe he's outnumbering his opponent, so his opponent's getting out of there pretty quickly. And you can see a few scout reinforcements moving in. But that does leave Doe a little low on the um, 
on the strike craft support for his frigates. So if these if these reach here fairly soon, we may be able to see something going on. And this is what six, seven, eight, twelve repair corvettes. And I'm not quite sure what they're attempting to do, but it could be some form of ramming going on. And there we go. That it is. I think it's desperately trying to heal it. Wait, so... Oh, that was, um... It was a little unexpected, unexpected. There's still a couple of repair figures out. But that was sacrificing 10 and now technically 12 repair corvettes for the destruction of one single resource controller. Now, is that worthwhile? Well, it's it's going to depend on how much that slows down the harvesting. So, I mean, it might be worthwhile playing on cost, but though has also lost time from his harvesters moving back and forth at far long, large distance now. So we'll have to wait and see if, if that turns out to be worthwhile. He do does definitely appear to have the strike craft advantage. 47 scouts still out. There's an additional research ship for Chain LS, and Chain LS has a large number of figures, including iron cannon figures, which both sides have. Uh, they're not in any formation, and they're going to struggle against these strike craft. But these scouts are just pulling away. I think they're going to go for a bit of revenge on. On, do on chain LS's harvesting operation. At least that's what it looks like. Meanwhile, these figures are just forming up, I believe. Uh, this is not good for Doe. He could do again these moving again. I'm not quite sure why they stopped. They shouldn't automatically just head back in, but they're not. Uh, resource controller is coming out again. So, yes. This group of scouts appears to have been slightly reinforced just to keep them up to the number 50 and then it was not being hit by anything that Chain LS has. Uh, the question is... Oh, that's quite an early destroyer in fact. Now while these scouts can actually probably be a threat to these frigates, I don't think they're going to manage to be a threat to the destroyers. Certainly not. Well, it'll take them a very long time to kill it. But it would probably be best if this if the destroyer actually just ignores these scouts and goes for a, a juicier target as it were. Scouts still being produced. Research ships also up to full. Controller getting back into position, meanwhile this figure well, the scary figure force is getting into position slowly. Now, Chain LS's frigates are just dueling with the scouts at the moment, so... The oh, actually, no, they've pulled away. But if he gets this force together, he's going to have a huge, huge advantage coming in against the frigates that are up here for Doe. So it's really going to depend on what... Well, can these frigates do any damage up here? And they're going for the mothership, which could take them a while. And can these scouts sort of distract or slow down this strike, this capital group here? Uh, it doesn't appear that they can do that. So already we can just see the destroyer opening fire. Now this is coming in from below, which I believe will do additional damage to these frigates. And this is this is why I like Homeworld because we're getting this three-dimensional fight with uh, Doe now repositioning will be forced to reposition his fleet unfortunately they're able to target down all these support frigates and two of them are already close to death there aren't actually any support frigates doing anything useful for chain LS uh, these scouts could probably just take out the last two here meanwhile the support frigate count is rapidly dwindling for, do for Doe uh, there is a destroyer out for him. That's just coming into the fight now. So we can already see how just that small change in the map has just delayed things and helped players get out, get out destroyers a lot 
seemingly sooner than than we're used to. The question is, is how much of these destroyers going to swing things into their favour? This destroyer here is already starting to take some damage. I think uh, Chain Alice's destroyer has been pretty much ignored. Still have plenty of scouts trying to focus down these support figures, which I should do quite quickly. And only a single support figure out for uh, Doe in order to try to save this destroyer. This destroyer is now losing time. Oh no, the second support figure. This destroyer is, is repositioning itself, but that means it's not always shooting constantly. So it's, it's just trying to shift around. I think it's going for the destroyer that's killing it from above. But that's a lot of time that its iron cannons weren't firing. And so it's taking a lot of damage during that repositioning. And that's something that we don't usually see. Usually we're seeing Shycroft and Frigates fighting it, which can be redeployed very quickly, but the destroyer is just so slow. You've got to be incredibly careful with it, incredibly careful with where you set its position. The second destroyer out now for Chain LS. He is definitely trying to capitalise on his advantage. He's not going to keep this alive for very long. Yet another missile, well, missile destroyer now this time. Um, this isn't going to be useful hunting down the few remaining strike craft off chain LS. This is definitely just going to be direct damage to capital ships, which it can do quite a lot of. Uh, mine lane corvettes, always very useful. Always do a, a fairly huge amount of damage as well. And we can just see the missile destroyer opening fire. One last support for down for chain LS. Whilst the last support frigates for Doe oh, are uh, being focused down as well. Uh, there's another missile destroyer. So missile destroyer and destroyers for everybody. Is that going to be another destroyer? Yes, it is another destroyer. So we're getting to see quite a quite a capital ship fight here at the moment. Uh, it really is impossible to tell who's winning. There's, surprisingly enough, there's not that many scouts left. There's only about 15, 16 scouts, three cor mine lane corvettes. Uh, no support frigates for either player. Uh, one missile destroyer, one normal destroyer. Poss there's, yes, uh, for both players. And Doe just has four iron cannon frigates, five assault frigates out. And if you're really good, you can count the amount of frigates that, that Chain LS has. Uh, I can't tell. But this here, this, this destroyer group. Is definitely going to start carving through everything. What happened to the other destroyer for Chain LS? Did it get taken out already? I think it did. So Chain LS down to the single, I think this single destroyer here. But I don't think this missile destroyer is going to last very long. You can even do a pilot to you and just see. Them. It's a lot of iron kind of being built. Well, it's a lot of iron kind of Some of them are does though. So actually Doe is pulling back slightly and he might not be trying to engage with this fleet. This destroyer here is going to be attempting to take out the mothership. From the way the destroyer's been damaged, it looks like there might have been a bit of ramming going on in fact. Uh, my main corvette out for chain LS. And we shall see how much damage Going to do. It's just two hits taken out a considerable amount. Uh, Chain LS should be coming out with a destroyer again fairly soon. That was the missile destroyer going down for Doe. So he's down to a half health destroyer. And it's not going to last long. I think at this moment in time, uh, two things are happening. Doe is starting to lose on the figure count. He's down to seven, or at least the figure can starting to get fairly even. Uh, in addition, he stopped producing scouts. He's got a single scout left, but his opponent has these light corvettes out as well. So, Doe might be starting to get pushed back a little. In fact, these, yes, these are all light corvettes. So they're not a huge threat to the destroyers, but they can in fairly large groups start taking out these fruits. There's now three destroyers out for Chain LS. And I don't think this, this frigate force here is going to survive much longer. I mean, it's doing a lot of damage, it's just taking out another destroyer. But the, it has no answer to these low corvettes. It has no answer to the two remaining destroyers here and here. 
of Chain LS. The story is desperately coming out for though, but even if he gets them out, this figure force is not going to be around in a few minutes' time. You can just see all these steel mines going in. Already, oh, this, this destroyer has taken a fair bit of damage. But a second destroyer out, that might help even things up. But this. Uh, it's very, very difficult to tell at the moment who's, who could win this, but I mean, the question is are these. This huge amount of strike craft really going to swing it into Chain LS's favour? I mean, they could, and let's not forget there's actually quite a few mines coming in now. So even before this mine layer, this, this missile destroyer got into the fight proper, it took heavy damage. And this destroyer is also just rammed a frigate and lost a third of its health. So that's not necessarily going to be, be a good trade off, as it were. You see the sure is sort of going on one on one. Mine lane corvettes out for both sides again. But the problem is, is this destroyer, it's just dying far, far too quickly. Uh, support figure really sh could be leading it up, but I don't think that would actually make that much of a difference. So it's already gone down. Now this is this could help someone get into. Uh, Doe's favour, these missiles are incredibly good against this like Corvettes. Um, they have a slight problem with it's a bit tricky to focus down a single Corvette with them, so the missiles can often be spread across different ships. And unfortunately, the, the light Corvettes have fled, so now this destroyer finds itself in a terrible position. It's flanked, uh, it's flanked on this side by a missile destroyer from the front, from by two destroyers. It's it's gonna go down very quickly, and I think that might just definitely be swinging it into Chain Ellis's favour now. He's got three destroyers out. His opponent is down to just six frigates, and there's also the strike craft advantage. Even more frigates coming out. Even more mines now starting to go for the mothership. So we should see the mothership start taking quite a bit of damage fairly soon. And it's not going to take long for the few remaining frigates to go down either. So not really much else to say but to sit back and watch the explosions. Very nice, uh, I'm not sure if even a heavy cruiser could help Doe out in this situation. I think three destroyers can would counter a heavy cruiser quite significantly. But maybe not. Doe has not given up though. He has a another destroyer coming out. Even as his last figure goes down. And another iron cannon figure. Uh, he could possibly even do some ramming with the research ship, but that's always incredibly difficult to pull off. And it appears that he's actually going to target down. Well, he's got his ships targeting the enemy mothership, and if we look at the, ex the sort of weird explosion things on the side of them, it looks like they're both both fairly evenly damaged. A missile destroyer coming out now, so this this is an all or nothing fight. Whose mothership dies first? Now, technically, we can see the advantage is already with Chain LS, but I wouldn't count Doe out yet. He does have he does have quite a bit of firepower, so it could go either way. It's just going to depend on how much damage was done beforehand. I mean, we can see that uh, Doe is just a few seconds behind Chain LS, and now his missile destroyer has opened fire. Uh, it does look. Yeah, could. Honestly, Doe should just ram the mothership with these right now. Just send them, send them right in, and they might kill it off in time. But otherwise, there we go. That is Doe, that's not Doug, is it? If I've been saying Doe and it's Doug all this time, I'm going to be really annoyed. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this slightly different um, game. Uh, thank you for... Le oh, flippin' heck, I hate trying to pronounce names. Thank you to Lemedeus and Doe. You're the same person. 
and thank you congratulations to chain from the clan ls uh, thank you for watching if you've enjoyed it then like subscribe etc and i will see you next time which hopefully will be a lot sooner so thank you and goodbye